is this the best mini guitar amplifier on the market today? I think so. Hi, I'm Landon, this is Landon 27 Music. This is the Nux, or it's the NUX, or it's the New X, uh, Mighty Light BT. I'm pretty sure it's New X. I heard them say that on their own channel. It's a small little mini amp. I've done a ton of mini amps. You might have seen mini amps on my channel before. Last year I did a video on my top three favorite mini amps. Actually two years running I did the same, it was the same three amps. And I mentioned it in the latest video, check it out there. Um, I mentioned this amp, I just couldn't get my hands on one. I don't think they have a distributor in Canada. So I contacted New X. I'm gonna keep screwing that up. They sent one out to me, so thank you very much for sending this out. Um, the biggest thing with this amp that over, over the other little mini amps that exist is the, uh, it has a smartphone app that you can use to do a bunch of different effects and you can stream um, tracks, like music tracks, you can play back through it. I'm not gonna focus on that in this video, but there is a great video that if you want to check out all the features with the app, check out Catpick Studios. I believe it's Vlad at Catpick. He did a great video, it's like 20 minutes long. He walks through everything. So if you're curious what's in it, that's not my focus. Um, I think that's pretty cool, but I think this is this amp is great. Just uh, out of the box, you can plug it in and play it. In this video, I'm gonna focus on what I think is the direct competition to this, which is the Black Star Fly 3. See some shots there. Just look at the footprint. I think these guys were born in the same factory. Hey, not a bad thing. The Black Star Fly 3 is a great amp. It might use the exact same speaker. I don't know, I haven't ripped it apart. That's not what I do. I'm sure if I did one of those tear it down videos, you'd see a lot of similar parts. So today, I'll tell you what this one has over the Black Star Fly 3 that would make me choose this one over that. And then uh, we'll do some tone demos, see if you can hear much of a difference. I don't think there's gonna be a big difference. This one has one big thing, one big difference. Not the app, not at all. Well, I'll get to it in a second. I have, I have, I have a list of stuff here. So let me, get, let me get the Fly 3. And later on, we're gonna move over back there and, and mic them up, right? That's the Fly 3 and that's the Mighty Light. They're both three watt. They're both battery powered with six AA or with DC. This one adds a third thing. You can plug it in with USB to a power supply with USB. So you can run it off USB power, basically. On the top here, very similar. It's got a gain, volume, tone. It's got a delay and reverb built in to the same knob. The Fly 3 only had a delay. Having the reverb to me is huge. I like reverb a lot, so I think that's really cool. It adds a Bluetooth function. It's got Bluetooth, you can pair it up with your phone. You can play back music over top. It's got built-in drum tracks, which you don't need the app for. You can play straight out of here. Uh, it's got a tap tempo also for the delay. So this, this one only does like a 10 millisecond, I believe. So those are the main things that are, to me, they're just like a bonus to have, right? Because it's already a good sounding amp. If you like the little Fly 3, this one sounds very similar, if not identical, right? Turn it on, Let's see what that, look at the pretty colors. Okay, this one's a three channel, clean gain, and then like a heavier gain. The Fly 3 is only two, so there's something else. This is just a guess. I don't really know what happened in the back end, but I'm gonna guess that the designers knew about this amp, and basically they took it and looked at it, and it's like it got hit with lightning, and it's on steroids. This is like a, a version of the Fly 3 where they just added everything they could to it which is really cool because the price of this, 99 bucks on amazon.com. I'm in Canada, last time I checked it wasn't on .ca. So you can get it on Amazon. We're gonna hear it over there. We're gonna plug in, we're gonna mic it up. One big difference, and this one is huge to me, and it might be huge to everybody else. The tone knob, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say these ones, like this one and the Boss Katana Mini, they're still overall a little bit muddy, even with the, uh, the tone, the, the highs turned up a lot. This one lets you get a lot better highs, I find. That's just me, that's my opinion, and I think that's huge. With that said, let's go plug it in, check out a few tones. I've got it uh, set up with a looper, so we're gonna loop some, 
some guitar through it and see how they sound. It's going to be the exact same playing, so there won't be a variance in my playing or anything like that. It's, and uh, we'll go through the, uh, the different channels and compare them side by side and see how that goes. The point of this is to do a quick comparison between the New X Mighty BT, Mighty Light BT, and the Black Star Fly 3. So they're just going to hang out together here. Let's take a look at what I've got it set to. You can see the volume levels. Uh, I've got the delay and the reverb turned off. I've got the tone turned quite a bit to the right. I'll try to get the same kind of sound. Green means the clean channel on this little amp. Green is go. So let's check it out. Let's try it out here with uh, the clean and then we'll flip over to the black star and we'll go back and forth, try to match up the same settings. <laughs> Matching it, tone knob, same, no delay. Let's go for it. We're good? You guys ready in the booth? You got you guys over the, don't show them. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's go to uh, the gain channel. So, let's go back to that amp. Let's go right into the uh, the Black Star. Okay, same same settings. Let's get it set up the same way. Maybe this should be, maybe the overdrive channel should be compared against the, uh, the higher overdrive one. We'll see. I'll do all three. Just to get all three. Just to give you a comparison. I'm not saying anyone is better. I'm just saying they're going to be different, right? They're going to be a little bit different, but similar. <laughs> Okay, the volume's a lot lower. I'm gonna bring it up, try to match it. Uh, the gain level is set. You can see here, right? And the EQ. I'll play around with the EQ. the idea there. I honestly don't remember if I recorded a third track. Let's see if I did. Let's see if I did. Did I do three tracks? Sometimes you set things up and you don't remember what you did and then you walk away for a while and no there's no third track. That's fine. I don't need a third track. We'll try this one out here. around with the bass just a little bit. There we go. Definitely not an exhaustive comparison, right? Just wanted to do a quick comparison side by side. All right, that's gonna be it. Okay, there you go. Now you've actually heard them side by side. I fully recommend this little amp, the Nux, no, the, the new X. And I'm not just saying this because they sent it to me. I'm not getting paid to say this. I try it out. If it's good, it's good. Uh, other people have sent me stuff. If it's good, it's good. If it's not good, I say it's not good. If this had been the first one out over the Fly 3 and the Tana Mini, I would have got this for sure. Having just, uh, even having the drum tracks is pretty cool. Just playing along to a drum track. Uh, just having the drum track, you can write songs. Just riffs, it's easier when you have a beat, right? Stay in time, very cool. I haven't tested the battery life. I'm going to guess it's very similar to the Fly 3, which is really good, and the Katana Mini, which is also really good. All right, 
That's going to do it. Again, I'm Landon. This has been the New X Mighty Light BT. I'll put a link in the description to uh, Vlad's video. That's the Catpix Studio video with the, uh, the app demo, right? If you want to see everything the app can do. Having that app just takes it to a whole other level. It's got more than just the built-in effects. To me though, just having a delay and reverb is good enough with the three channels, but if you want to go play around with more settings, it's awesome, it's pretty cool. Just me personally, I find having too much stuff into playing with all the stuff and not just playing guitar. I found that with the Katana 100, I had one of those. I think that's it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll put the Amazon link below so you can check it out if you want to get it. 99 US, it's well worth it. Ah, one last thing, it comes with a power supply. Didn't mention that. The other ones don't, okay? That's a big thing too. How did I forget that? Let me go over the pros really quickly here again. The tone control. I love that you can get the highs really high. It comes with power supply. It's got built-in drums. It's got reverb and it also does USB power. Those are the major things to me. Anyways. All right. I'm Landon. This is Landon 27 Music. As always, like and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you can get notified of new videos. Play guitar and have fun. See you in the next video. What do you think? Is it new X? Is it Nux? Rhymes with f What? I can't say f capacitor. Come on guys. Back to the future. Go off. Okay.